Now, some of you commented in my previous posts about the Eaton Elite Executive Radio that some of the buttons are probably a bit confusing to you. The, the manual that comes with it is pretty good, um, but I understand how it can be daunting sometimes to figure out what they're trying to say in here. So today I'm going to talk about how to program page memory in the Eaton Elite Executive Radio. Okay, let's start by turning on the radio. Now I'm going to push uh, a button called Page Time. And you'll notice I've pre-programmed some pages here. And uh, this one is in the air band. So if I press the up or down button, you'll see that I've got various other pages labeled, FT8 frequencies for ham radio, air band, FM band, I've split up into two parts because I have a number of stations locally. There's an AM band, one and, and whisper, uh, high frequency air, low, medium, and high frequencies, and so on. Uh, there's navtex, and then you'll eventually get to a page that's empty like this, page six. So now we can use that to program uh, some stations for, uh, for time signals. Now before we program uh, an empty page, I just thought I'd show you that in the HF air medium band that I've programmed here, you have seven buttons, and this is true for any of the pages, where you can put frequencies in. So I can put up to seven frequencies under HF air medium. And there's the first one, 5616, 6577, 6586, 6628, and so on. Okay, so now using the, the up-down buttons, let's page up. Now that we're in page time mode, we'll go up to this page 6, which is empty. Now we want to start putting time stations in. We're going to start with the 2.5 megahertz or 2500 kilohertz WWV. Um, so I would type 2, 5, oh, we'll start that again. It's going to say error. 2, 5, 0, 0, and then hit the AM button. And now press and hold the first position, which is F1, and you'll see that the 1 is actually flashing there. So then the next station up that we want to put into this page is CHU Canada, which is 3, 3, 0, 0. Sorry, it's 3, 3, 3, 0. So let's just start that again. Three, 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 zero, AM, and then push F2 and hold for two seconds, and it will flash. So now, if we go in to F1, you'll see we've got WWV in there, and hit uh, F2, we've got CHU. And I can keep going. Let's just do another one at uh, five kilohertz, or five megahertz, rather which is WWV, five, zero, 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 AM in this case, and push and hold F3 for three seconds, two seconds rather. And now we can see that as we go through here, we've got all three of those in memory. And you can go up to seven memory positions per page. So let's add another one to this list. So let's add 10 megahertz to position 4. 1, 0, 0, 0, 10,000 kilohertz, hit AM, and push and hold F4. And just to double check, we'll go down to 3, 2, 1. It's changing frequency as expected.
So let's say we erroneously put that 10 megahertz into position four memory. Let's just go back here. <clears throat> and we want to erase that. So what we do is we push and hold erase until it says delete up there. And then quick press number four. And you notice it's disappeared now, even though it still says 10 megahertz. If you go back here and press F4 again, you'll notice it's gone now. So you've just got the first three frequencies that we put in. By the way, if you ever want to get out of page memory, just back into VFO mode, just hit the page time button, short press. Otherwise, it'll go into time setting. And just hit it again if you want to get back into pages. So I've now programmed all my time stations and all seven buttons. You can hear it's daytime, so the lower frequencies aren't so great. There's the CHU. And there's WWV 10 megahertz, 15, and 20. So if we now want to label this other than page six, just press and hold the light button. And you'll see there's a flashing cursor there. Now you've got something like eight seconds to start selecting your first character with just by turning the tuning knob, the VFO knob. So let's go to T. Once you've selected it, then you hit page time and it'll automatically advance to the next spot. So we'll go again to get I. Page time. And there we go. Now, if we want to, we have to fill all the spaces. So just push page time until you get to the end. And now it's in. So if we go up or down, you'll see that time is now labeling all our time stations. And again, we can just use the F buttons to quickly access them. We want to go out of page time or out of the page memory, just click it. And now you're, you're back into VFO mode. So I hope you found this video useful. If you liked it, you know the drill. Please give it the usual thumbs up and maybe subscribe to the channel. We'll see you in the next video. Mm -hmm.